Hi, I'm Zhe Liu from Imperial College London. I have the pleasure to present my work on operating three-sided food delivery marketplace for the Service Science Best Cluster Paper Competition. This is a joint work with Yi Wen Shen from the HKUST and my student Yan Wei Sun from Imperial College. Food delivery markets have seen rapid growth in the past decade all around the world, as reflected by both the revenue and the user base. Then the unexpected COVID-19 pandemic hit, which catalyzed tremendous growth in the food delivery markets. With people's lifestyle changed, the golden era for food delivery is everlasting. Leading food delivery platforms have emerged and become household names in all major economies, with the US an oligopoly and China a duopoly. We are fascinated by the three-sided nature of the food delivery systems. Customers hope to get their food fast, deliverers want to make more money, and restaurants desire more profits. With these in mind, our research aims to answer what are the platform's optimal pricing and spatial staffing decisions, which restaurants participate and how much do they gain, and what is the value of the platform. Now, let's delve into the tale of the three-sided food delivery marketplace. We have three sides of heterogeneous participants. Customers with different valuations for the service, deliverers with different outside opportunities, and restaurants differentiated by their profit margin per order. The platform sets the delivery fee, deliver a wage, and restaurant commission. These constitute the platform's pricing controls. Out of the potential demand rate and pools of deliverers and restaurants, some may choose to participate in the platform. The system then feeds back with a performance measure such as customer delay, deliver utilization, and restaurant's profit rate. The pricing control and system performance interact and jointly yield the participation equilibrium of all three sides. Under this model, we can formulate the platform's problem as one that maximizes the platform's steady state revenue rate subject to the participation equilibrium of each side. The problem exhibits the interplay between the pricing, staffing, and system performance. Let's now look into a delivery service cycle. When there are more orders, customers will have to wait for the next available deliverer. Once available, a deliverer is matched to the nearest order, he then travels to the restaurant to pick up the food and delivers it to the customer. When there are more deliverers, however, they may experience some idle time waiting for the next order. Customers are sensitive to the manageable delay, which accounts for their waiting time and pickup time, while deliverers are only paid for their time in service. We then analyze the spatial interactions using a spatial queuing model. Under the nearest dispatching policy, the pickup time depends on the system state. There could be deliverers idling, orders waiting for a deliverer, or more waiting orders than the number of restaurants. This results in different forms of the average pickup time. The state-dependent pickup time further induces state-dependent service rate, whose reciprocal is the average pickup time plus the average delivery time. We are thus able to model the rather complicated spatial interactions as a state-dependent Markovian queuing system. To get tractable solutions and gain insights, we resort to heavy traffic analysis. In specific, we let the market size grow proportionally large and prove that the optimal participations also grow large. Assuming elastic customer demand, we further show that the system operates in heavy traffic. This inspires us to study a sequence of heavy traffic systems that grow under a particular relation controlled by two parameters, alpha and beta. Based on their values, we obtain the limiting service regimes and the expected system state. Our technical endeavors result in the main theorem on the platform's optimal pricing and staffing. Unlike the classic square root scaling, we show the optimality of cube root scaling as alpha equals one third which is due to spatial frictions. The optimal beta, depending on model primitives, leads to possibly different service regimes than just the QED regime. The optimal pricing and staffing reveal leading terms to the RM problem, as well as lower order tuning terms that account for the system's stochastic variations. Let me highlight our key managerial insights. When we compare restaurants' performance with and without the platform, we find that only restaurants with relatively high margins participate. As we investigate the participating restaurant's profit gains, we see two sources, demand boost 
and per order profit change. Restaurants with relatively lower margins get significant demand boost, while restaurants with higher margins enjoy more logistic savings. We can assess the value of the platform using various performance metrics, but here's a numerical example in terms of social welfare. Comparing the social welfare without and with the platform, we see a remarkably bigger pie enabled by the platform, which is plotted to scale. The split of the bigger pie benefits all parties, despite a portion taken by the platform. To summarize, our novel model encompasses three sides of heterogeneous participants, and it captures the interplay between the platform's pricing control, the system performance, and the participation equilibrium. We study the complex system using a spatial queuing model and solve the platform's revenue maximization problem via heavy traffic analysis. Our theoretical results shed light on the service operations of food delivery systems, a symbolic example of three-sided marketplaces.